This is going to be our Vietnam demonstration, describing uh, the first vehicle you see coming across in front of you right now. It's an M113A2 with a what's called an ACAV kit installed upon it. It's an armored cavalry kit. Most of the M113s did not have this. It's the armor shield around the commander with the 50 caliber machine gun shield and then the two shields on each side that would have M60 machine guns. It also had some supplemental um, armor underneath and some extra armor on the front. This was developed during Vietnam because of um, all of ambushes and mines and such. And it, would, it made the M113 rather, an, instead of an armored personnel carrier, it made it into a, basically an assault vehicle also. It was very, very well armored. And our M113 here is marked up for the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, which saw a great deal of service in Vietnam. I don't know if you all noticed what is written on the back of the commander's hatch, uh, but we, we got that from some original pictures of the 11th ACR in Vietnam. It says, standing orders for troopers of the 11th ACR, find the bastards, then pile on. The other vehicle that's behind it is a was strictly used by the Marine Corps in Vietnam. It's an M50A1 Antos. It has six 106 millimeter recoilless rifles mounted on it. It's powered by a Chrysler 361 V8 engine. It has a really good power to weight ratio. It's, it can go really fast. It's very nimble. As you see, it can go places in Vietnam that the M48 tanks couldn't go and maybe even the M113s couldn't go. Uh, it was also really made a name for itself in the Battle of Hue in 1968, when it really came to the rescue of the Marines there and was considered one of the, uh, the primary vehicles that saved the day in the Battle of Hue. The 106 Recolis rifles have a spotting rifle on top of them. There's a um, 50 caliber, but it's not a 50 caliber machine gun round. It's a round, 50 caliber round that simulates the trajectory and the speed of the 106 millimeter main round. So the Marines, they found out in way if they would fire the 50 caliber spotting rifle into a building, the North Vietnamese knew what was coming right after that spotting rifle. And they would, as, one Marine told me they would come out like rats. So sometimes they would just fire the 50 caliber and wait for them to come out. Anyway, it was a, a very effective weapon. It had a number of um, uh, different rounds for it, including a uh, flechette round that was um, just incredibly destructive that they would fire at um, enemy personnel and such. It's amazing the you know, the explosion that you see on the other end of it. I believe we're gonna have a um, Vietnam, a little Vietnam skirmish now. Thank you guys so much for watching this little blurb from Living History Weekend at the Museum of the American GI. It's an excellent collection with some really good live events. As always, their social media and their website are linked down in the description below, so go ahead and check that out and plan your visit. They have some amazing vehicles and there's always a lot to learn, so hopefully I'll see you out there at one of their next events. If you dug the video, go ahead and toss a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time for some more Armored Adventures. Take care!